So an appeals court lowering former President Donald Trump's bond in that civil fraud case. Uh, he will still have to pony up about $175 million within 10 days' time. He says he'll do it promptly and he'll do it with cash. Uh, but the news comes that he's on the verge of making billions after his social media company, True Social, goes public. Kevin O'Leary now, chairman of O'Leary Ventures, with us now. And let's take it one at a time. First, on the federal appeals lowering. He just shot out a, a message saying Trump Tower remains mine, huge victory. Uh, how do you see it, Kevin? I look at this from a completely different point of view. Let's go up to 30,000 feet and talk about the American economy, our ability to remain number one worldwide, and most importantly, attracting foreign capital to invest in America. And the concept uh, and why that happens and has for over 175 years is in our Constitution, property rights are mentioned over 25 times. So this is very important because if you're going to go over to the Middle East or to D Denmark or Europe, where I'm going next week to raise money for American projects, notably data centers, um, when they give $3 billion to you, they want to know their property rights are protected. And so what was happening in New York was extremely scary. And I have to admit to you, in the last two weeks, I kept telling them before our meetings, don't worry, the adults will step in. Something will happen to advance the appellate process. Your rights are protected. Imagine me telling foreign investors that as they watch this roll out in New York. Thank goodness the adults came to the rescue. And now we have a process beginning, a 60-plus percent reduction in this infraction fee, and that really should be getting more to what's balanced. Trump assuring everybody he has the cash to back the bond. These are good advancements towards keeping the stable message about the American brand as the number one economy to invest in. Kevin, let me actually dig into that a little bit more because I think you're, you might be the only one who can answer this question for me. You know, Mark Levin uh, tweeted something over the weekend about he was asking why, where are all the pro-Trump Republican billionaires out there? Why aren't they cutting checks for the former president? And I thought to myself when I read that, well, they're dealing with their own legal issues. And one perfect example is Taryn Pizer. And people are dealing with indictments from the DOJ and from conversations I'm having from very successful people out there that make a lot of money, it's almost like they're afraid to be successful. You're afraid now to live in this country and do well because, well, the justice system might come after you. What are you hearing? Uh, I wouldn't say this country. I'd say you're afraid to be successful in New York. If somehow it gets politicized, then hopefully that's going to be fixed. All these people you're talking about, the billionaire class, whether they be red or blue or left or right, doesn't matter. There's an assumption underneath the entire system that's been intact for a long time that it self-corrects, that we don't have a situation where you put a billion dollars in the ground in Venezuela in an oil refinery and then it gets nationalized. We don't do that in America. And that's why money comes here. Now, what started to happen in New York looked a little wonky, uh, looked like it, it was out of control, and it was for a few weeks. And look what happened today. This is very positive in reflecting on what makes America absolutely the safest place to invest. The system self-corrects. Adults come in, adult supervision, whether that be at the appellate court of New York or the Supreme Court. I was waiting to hear if this would go to the Eighth Amendment around the size of the penalty. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a great message. It's, mm -hmm. it's late in the evening in the UAE and in Europe right now. Yeah. Everybody's watching this thing saying, oh, thank goodness, America's still America. And that's very important to me as an investor. Thank you, Kevin. Nice to see you. Kevin O'Leary, more to come Take soon. Care. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.